number guessing game, what we want to do, or actually number guessing game two, uh, what we want to do is we want to compare uh, the letters. So let's say there's a random number, one, two, three, four, and I want to guess uh, those letters. I don't know what they are. I don't know what those numbers are. So I guess, say, five, 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 five. And the computer is going to tell me the actual number is less in each case because one is less than five, two is less than five, three is less than five, four is less than five. Um, so let's say I did, next I did four, 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 four. Okay, so now we would still have, you know, less, less, less. But this one's correct, so it's going to be an asterisk. Now let's say we do one, 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 four. So that's correct. And now these are greater because two is greater than one, three is greater than four. And that's how we just keep going. Okay, so basically what we're doing is instead of comparing just one number, uh, is it higher or lower, we're comparing each individual digit. Okay, so we have to you know, reference each digit on its own. Okay, so just for a quick review, let's say I've got name equals Christian, because that's my name. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if I wanted to print out my name, like letter by letter, it would be name zero, because we start at zero. Oh, she just uh, forgot to print, but let's copy and so name one, two, I'm going to translate that and do some copying. And you can see how bothersome this becomes already. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine letters, but it's zero to eight. So if I save that and run it, I get the following output. Okay, so you can see this is name zero is the C, name one is H, so on and so forth. So what we want to do is we want to use a loop. And so what we want to do in this case is we're going to start at the zero and go to eight. Okay. So when you're looking at your code and you're trying to figure out, okay, how can I use a loop to simplify my code? Um, if you look for something like this that repeats, so everything else is the same except for this number. Now we know how to do that. So for index in range, the first number is zero. Last number is eight, but remember with range, it's the last number plus one. Oops, colon, print name index. Okay, so this index goes here. So when you start the loop, it starts on zero. So print name zero, comes around, goes to one, print name one, so on and so forth, all the way down to eight. So we get essentially the same result. Okay, so we've got Christian and Christian. So you can see how this, these two lines of code have replaced these nine lines of code. Which is, which is quite nice. Now imagine this was a very long string of characters. We could, you know, let's say this is a thousand characters long, we still only need two lines. Let me just change this to 1001, okay, which is one of the nice features of loops. Now for our number guessing assignment, we're going to be doing basically the same thing. So we're going to have a number, and so let's call it number, equals, let's say, one, two, two, five. And I chose that because that's Christmas. So one thing that we have to be aware of, right now number is an integer, okay? But to use this, so if I try to do this, print number zero, to print the one, I get a type error, okay? And what it tells me here is the int object has no attribute get item. Okay, um, so what it's trying to do, it's trying to get item zero from an integer. You can't do that with integers. So we need to change that to a string. Okay, so one way to do that is we could put, we could put quotes around this. That would do it. Okay, um, but for our program later, you'll, you'll want to do something like this. we're going to be getting a random number later. Okay, so now if I run it, okay, I get the one because number zero 
is 1. So again, remember the rules. So I'm going to say my guess equals, uh, I'm going to try 5555. Five, five. That's a good number to start with. Notice I put it in strings uh, because it's, it's a string. Now, because we're going to be using raw input, it's automatically going to be a string. We don't need to do any conversion, which is nice. So basically what I want to do is I want to compare this and this. Okay, so that's basically, so if guess zero, so that's the first digit, equals number zero, print asterisk. We're going to change that in a bit. L if guess zero is greater than number zero, print less than because the actual number is less, because guess is greater. L if guess zero. I could do I could do an else here if I wanted to as well, but we'll type it out. Zero print. Okay, so let's test it. So what do we predict here? So one and five. So we should get this because the guess is too high. Yep, we got a less than. So now thinking about that, what I can do then is I could okay, and then just basically replace all these numbers. And we don't want to do that actually. Um, but that is one way of doing it. Not the best way, of course. And then two, two, I should really pause the video while I'm doing this, I know. Three, So let's try it. Okay, so we've got less, 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 correct. So one is less than five, two is less than five, two is less than five, five equals five. So we know we're on the right path here. Okay, so this is already getting to be some rather longish code. Um, one of the other things we want to do is we want to print it out horizontally. So I'm going to call that result. So instead of print, I'm going to say result plus equals. And that'll add that to the result. So I'm just going to copy down through there. And I'm not sure if you can hear the people in the background talking. It's early in the morning here. And then we need to print the result at the end. Okay, so that's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see it horizontally. So less than, less than, less than, correct. Okay, so now, basically what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need two different loops. You're gonna need a while loop to keep your program running the whole time, and then you're gonna need a little for loop inside the while loop to test this. So notice, like, like we had in the original example with the name, we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2 3, 3, 3, 3. So we're gonna be able to replace that with a for loop. And that is going to be your challenge. So good luck.